here's a small capacitor bank that's been sitting here with a charge on it for a little while we're going to take this high wattage resistor to discharge that capacitor bank this was built for large capacitor banks around 700 volts once the power's de-energized it takes a little while for the uh the bleeder resistors to drain it down i don't completely trust them so i go ahead and put this um, 50 ohm high wattage resistor across it put double boot alligator clips on it just so there's a, a lot of insulation protection thick heavily insulated wires so we're going to go ahead and do that here we'll take a look right here we don't have a lot of voltage on this i think it's only got about 50 volts yeah it's got 50 volts it's been sitting on there for a while i charged it up forgot about it um it's probably been on here for about a week but we're going to go ahead and discharge it right now and take a look Now we can see that pretty quickly drains it, not so fast to actually damage the capacitors or to cause a spark and arc. A lot of people just put a screwdriver across a single cap or a small cap. But if you have a capacitor bank and they're large, it's best to use a high wattage resistor. Make sure you're well insulated. Um, again, this is just a small cap bank, but on a large, some elevator drives have 32 capacitors in there, 700 volt drives. This is the type of resistor that you see right here. This is a 50 ohm. This here is 3600 ohm though. The reason for the difference is it's actually a, uh, a bleeder and a balance resistor for a large capacitor bank. Same style, both high, high wattage, um, mountable on a heat sink. These have been confused before and someone has accidentally put a 50 ohm in there, but it just burns open pretty quick. So you couldn't accidentally forget about that. Um, all I did was just add the spade connectors, put a little silicone on them, tape them, double alligator clips, and just use, use this to bleed the capacitor bank. You can see on the circuit right here, that resistor. That's basically a pre-charge, soft start type resistor. It slowly charges this cat bank. That's going to be the 50 ohm resistor, and that's the one that I use. I just order a spare one and use it to drain the cat bank. If you don't soft start the capacitor bank, they can explode. They'll just charge too quick. So you have to put voltage on them through a resistance, let them charge up to about 75% or so, and then you can go ahead and short that resistor out with IGBT contactor you know it's different depending on on uh, the application